in their fight for in their fight for a further investigation into the scandal. They've been speaking to our political correspondent, Joe Pike. Joe Pike reporting there from Westminster. Well, in a statement, Hull City Council again expressed its sympathies to those affected by... A Spanish judge has ruled that there is no evidence that the death of a Lincolnshire woman was a violent act. Our next lawyers for the former tourism boss, Sir Gary Verity, say that he is not currently able to be interviewed as part of two investigations into his expenses and conduct. Now, you won't have failed to notice that there is a Tory leadership race going on at the moment. Well, the two candidates vying to become Britain's next Prime Minister will go head-to-head -head in a debate here on ITV next month. Yes, Boris Johnson and Jeremy Hunt will be taking your questions on the 9th of July. Well, here's the debate's host, Julie Etchingham, with more information about how you can get involved. Julie Etchingham there. Well, you can also find those details on our website. Just head to the usual address. It's itv.com forward slash calendar. And there will be much more on the race to number 10 right here on ITV a little later this evening when Robert Peston will be joined on his programme by Jeremy Hunt. That's after our late news at 10.45. OK, next tonight, the first emergency services have moved into the country's only purpose-built home for fire, police and ambulance crews in Lincoln today. The £21 million base on South Park will be home to all three services when it's completed in the autumn. Well, bosses say the move will help to save costs and allow staff to work closer together. Jonathan Brown has been taken. Shame. <laughs> we were looking forward to that. Now, the ITV Evening News continues at 6.30. Here's a look at what's happening with Mary Nightingale. Mary, thanks very much. Now, thousands of us will be attending gay pride marches across the region this month, celebrating our rich and diverse LGBT communities. But events this year are perhaps all the more poignant. Yes, it's 50 years since the Stonewall Riots, a demonstration in America which helped to pave the way to equality for same-sex couples. The milestone is being marked with a half-century celebration in the city where the gay civil rights movement started in New York. In the first of our special series, Pride and Prejudice, Matt Price speaks to those who remember a turning point in gay rights equality. Next tonight, a woman with breast cancer is urging women and men to regularly check for the signs and symptoms of the disease. ITV News journalist Kate Taylor says finding a lump herself may have saved her life as she was able to get an earlier diagnosis and treatment. Well, Kate invited us to film with her while she underwent chemotherapy to help get the message across. Rachel Hepworth reports. Kate well in her recovery. OK, some sport now. And Millie Bright from Kilimarsh is a major doubt for England's quarter-final tie against Norway tomorrow night in the Women's World King weather at the moment. And our calendar veg patch is coming along, along nicely. Fantastic. Let's see if the growing weather continues. Here's Ashling Creed. Ashling, thank you. Well, before we go tonight, we'd like to pay tribute to our friend and former colleague Karen Armstrong, who's passed away at the age of 50. Karen, who was known professionally as Karen Petch, was well known to calendar viewers. She died on Friday, surrounded by her family. And first tonight, to the message from thousands of school children across our region as they took to the streets today to highlight the number of youngsters killed and hurt on the roads every week. They were backed by one mother whose six-year-old son was knocked down and killed by a speeding motorist while he was playing out in 2011. Campaigners say streets should be made more child-friendly in order to save lives. Well, Katie Oscroft reports from one school in Leeds. Next tonight, to the ticking clock over British Steel's Scunthorpe plant, with time fast running out for a buyer to step in and save the jobs of almost 5,000 staff who work there. Yes, the company was declared insolvent last month after the government said it was unable to provide a £30 million loan to help it out of its growing financial crisis. Well, our political now do stay with us because still to come on calendar this eve. Some more of the day's news now and five people have been hurt in a serious crash on the A650 Bradford Road in Leeds. On next, families from our region have joined protests in London to call for more funding for children with special educational needs. An endangered black rhino from Flamingoland in North Yorkshire has been released into a national park in Rwanda. Right. OK, you won't have failed to notice that uh, there is a leadership uh, competition in the Tory party at the moment. The two candidates trying to become the next Prime Minister will go head-to-head -head in a debate here on ITV next month. Yes, Boris Johnson and Jeremy Hunt will be taking your questions on the 9th of July. Here's the debate's host, Juliet Chingham, with more information about how you can get involved. OK, Julie, thank you. And you can also find those details on our website. Just head to the usual address, 
itv.com forward slash calendar and there'll be much more on the race to number 10 right here on ITV a li little later this evening when Robert Peston will be joined on his programme by Jeremy Hunt. That's after our late news at 10.45. But still to come here on... Now thousands of us will be attending gay pride marches across the region this month celebrating our rich and diverse LGBT communities but events this year are perhaps all the more poignant. It's 50 years since the Stonewall Riots, a demonstration in America which helped pave the way to equality for same-sex couples. Well, the milestone is being marked with a half-century celebration in the city where the gay civil rights movement started New York. In the first of our special series, Pride and Prejudice, Matt Price speaks to those who remember a turning point in gay rights equality. We'll have more from Matt tomorrow. Well, the ITV Evening News continues at 6.30. Here's Mary. Thanks, Mary. Well, next, in December 2015, thousands of homes were left flooded by St Storm Eva. Leeds was badly hit, the Calder Valley was inundated and is still recovering. Well, in Otley, dozens of homes and commercial buildings were left underwater when the Swollen River Wharf broke its banks. But today, a much-needed flood defence scheme for the town came a major step closer with a decision by senior councillors. Well, to bring us up to date... OK, some sport now, and Millie Bright from Killamarsh is a major doubt for England's quarter-final tie against Norway tomorrow night in the Women's World Cup. Leeds United winger Jack Clark is undergoing a medical at Premier League side Tottenham Hotspur, ahead of an £8.5 million. Well, now to the Barnsley-born racehorse trainer who's recently retain, retained the all-weather championship title after another successful season on the track. It's a version of flat racing where the horses race on an all-weather surface rather than traditional turf. It means they can carry on racing through the winter. Sarah Kilburn-Wilson reports. Now it's good growing weather at the moment and our calendar veg patch is coming along, along nicely. Dr Amir Khan to meet the pupils. Fantastic. Let's see if the growing weather continues. Here's Ashling Creed. Ashling, thank you. Well, before we go tonight... We'd like to pay tribute to our friend and former colleague Karen Armstrong, who's passed away at the age of 50. Karen, who was known professionally as Karen Petch, was well known to calendar viewers. She died on Friday, surrounded by her family.